Autumn is in the air and the leaves are beginning to fall. Now's the time to winterize your lawn or garden tractor for the off season. Winterizing your tractor now will ensure an easy start next spring. Always read and follow the instructions for winterizing your lawn or garden tractor found in the operator's manual. Regardless of the type of tractor you have, the first step is to disconnect the spark plug wire to prevent accidental starting. Today's gasoline can go stale in about 30 days, so add a fuel preserver to the tank. Topping the tank off lessens the chance of water contamination from the fuel tank sweating. A fuel preserver helps prevent gum from forming in the fuel system or on essential carburetor parts. The engine should be run for 10 minutes to allow the treated fuel to reach the carburetor. While the engine is still warm, change the oil, the oil filter, and or the fuel filter if these are found on your engine. Remove the oil dipstick and set it in a location that alerts you there is no oil in the engine. Carefully position an oil drain pan under the drain location. Unscrew the oil drain plug and allow the oil to drain for a few minutes. Before installing a new oil filter, lightly oil the filter gasket with clean engine oil. Tighten the filter a half turn once it's seated. Use engine oil that's specific to small engines, like Briggs & Stratton's 4-Cycle Small Engine Motor Oil. It's available in two sizes, 18 ounces and 48 ounces, and you can get it at your local dealer, retailer, or online. Be careful not to overfill it by periodically checking the oil level on the dipstick until the proper level is reached. Locate the fuel filter near the engine. Use pliers to slide both clamps away from the filter. Pinch the fuel line coming from the gas tank with the vice grips to stop any flow while removing the filter from the fuel line. Install the fuel filter in the correct orientation indicated by an arrow that points in the direction of the fuel flow. Now is a great time to replace the spark plugs. Remove the old plugs and discard them. Remove the new plugs from the package and set the gap to 30 thousandths of an inch. Place a dab of thread lubricant to the threads and install the plugs into the engine and replace the spark plug wires. Start the unit and check for leaks. If all checks out, you've completed winterizing your tractor's engine. Disconnect the negative battery cable from the battery terminal first, followed by the positive cable. Remove the battery and store it in a cool, dry place out of the weather, like your garage, a shed, or basement. Clean the battery terminals using the terminal cleaner and coat all terminals with the terminal protector. Don't store your engine dirty. Clean the engine surface of debris, chaff, and grass. With the spark plug lead removed from the engine, Use an air compressor or brush to wash away any residual grass clippings. Covering your tractor for storage is a good idea. If you have limited storage space, ask your local dealer about storing your tractor during the off-season. They'll even pick it up and deliver it before the mowing season starts next spring.